Hey everybody, Sean here and welcome to Revealing Truth. Can a Christian also be a Freemason is the question we're looking at today. So let's look at things a little further. If we go to one of their sites and look at the requirements to become a Freemason, we see it's a fraternity of already good men becoming better. You've got to be a man of 21 years or older. You have to believe in a supreme being. Also in the immortality of the soul. You have to live an ethical life. And you need to have a strong interest in the fraternity with a desire to participate in charities and events. So on the surface, to the regular folks in this world, these seem like some good old people. And by the world standards, they just might be. But let's take a closer look at what they believe compared to the Bible. On the topic of salvation from sin, we know that Jesus became the sinner's sacrifice and is the only payment for anyone's sins. Whereas with Freemasonry, the process of joining requires them to ignore the exclusivity of Jesus as Lord and Savior. Their focus is on self-improvement. As far as the Bible goes, we know this is the Word of God and is authoritative in all areas of our lives. For Freemasons, the Bible is only one of seven commonly used volumes of sacred law where all are deemed equally important. The Bible is not considered to be the exclusive word of God or God's only revelation of himself. With the doctrine of God, Christians believe there is only one true God, whereas the Masons believe that all religions acknowledge the same God but call him by different names. This is the same thing the Pope is promoting with his ecumenical movement. So you can be sure that the Freemasons will be right on board when the Antichrist comes on the scene. In regards to the doctrine of Jesus and the Trinity, most Christians believe Jesus is God in human form. But the Masons don't believe Jesus is exclusive and equate him to persons in pagan religions. And you can see examples of them on the screen. And in regards to human nature and sin, as Christians, we know that all humans are born with a sinful nature and need a savior from sin, and that we can accomplish moral perfection on our own. But Freemasons teach that man is not sinful, but simply on a journey of self-improvement. So in short, if a Christian takes the oath of Freemasonry, he is swearing to follow doctrines that God has pronounced false that salvation can be gained by man's good works, that Jesus is just one of many equally wise prophets, that they approach the lodge in spiritual darkness and ignorance, whereas the Bible says Christians are children of the light, and that the great architect of the universe is representative of all gods in all religions. So can a Christian also be a Freemason? Absolutely not and no Christian should be any part of any group with connections to Freemasonry. So if you were ever wondering about this topic, I hope this video has helped. But we're gonna leave it here today, so leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.